Yo, yeah, what's up, brothers and sisters? I pray that you are doing well. Uh, after this video, I record this. I'm gonna post a picture of where I'm at. It's a cool spot. I used to come up here uh, every once in a while at night just to look out over the city. Um, but I'm up here during the day, so it's a, pretty, it's a different vibe, but it's pretty cool. Can't see much because of the uh, marine layer, and it is a bit smoggy. That's what you get with LA. Um, but it's super nice. Uh, it's like 80, 82 degrees, nice and breezy, perfectly clear skies. Uh, it's great. Anyways, I just wanted to get on here um, and share some stuff with the with the Ephesians. Just just read the word. Come under the hearing of faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Uh, and uh, we know that the spirit that is ministered to us and worketh miracles among us is by faith, not by the works of the law. So... If we want to eat and drink of Christ, brothers and sisters, we can come right to him. We can come directly to Christ in the word. We can say yes and amen. We don't have to go through a mediator of the law, which is no mediator. Only there is one mediator. It's Christ. And we can come right to Christ. Enjoy him. Enjoy the atmosphere of sonship, the spirit of sonship. Enjoy the fact that we are children of God, heirs of God, and co with Christ Jesus. That there is nothing standing between us and and the Father, we are in the house of God forever. The moment that we believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day. Hallelujah. Um, yeah, we're going to start reading here. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us. Actually, let's just start at the top, eh? Let's just start at the top. And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, past tense, who were dead in trespasses and sins, where in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. And hath risen us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That's pretty awesome, yo. We were dead in our sins and trespasses. We were, but in Christ, after believing the gospel that he died for our sins, was buried and rose again on the third day for our justification, we are alive unto God in Christ. We are born again, filled with the Holy Spirit of promise, sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, children of God forever, alive unto God, given eternal life. We're alive unto God in Christ. There's no other way to be alive unto God. And right now, practically, if we want our conscience to, if we want to be renewed in our mind, if we want our conscience to be settled, there's no other way but then to, but to come forward by faith in Jesus Christ and his finished redemptive work. There's no other way to be alive unto God for eternal salvation and for today to enjoy the present tense of our salvation, to have our conscience purged from evil dead works. And that is by faith in the blood of Jesus Christ. This service to God is us just coming, is us coming forward in faith, believing his word, saying yes and amen, saying yes, I am crucified with Christ. You are not asking for extra efforts and dead works from me as I go about and try to strive in the strive in the law and commandment keeping and all this stuff which is just going back into bondage and fear and a system that does not bring justification does not bring life does not bring rewards does not bring fellowship because it's not Christ himself it was a, a shadow of good things to come Jesus Christ is the reality so we know that if we want to come forward and enjoy the presence of God and enjoy the ministering of Christ himself to his body to eat and drink of Christ, then we come forward by faith in the finished redemptive work of Jesus Christ. We come to Christ himself as a living person. He is our head. The law is not our head. And we are the body of the law. No, Christ is our head. There is not Christ is our head, the law is the shoulders, then we're the torso, so then we got to go through the law to get to Christ. No, Christ is our head and we are his body. He ministers himself to us as we walk by faith. The just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. Verse 7 again. 
that in the ages to come, he might show, I love this verse so much, that in the ages to come for eternity, brothers and sisters, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Man, I've done so many videos on just this verse alone because I love this verse so much. It was just, it was his good pleasure to head up all things in Christ, to make a way for us to come and save sinners by sending his son to die on the cross, being buried and risen again on the third day so that all who believe in Jesus Christ are justified alive unto God born again given eternal life everything headed up in Christ so that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace he's going to show us the exceeding riches of his grace and he's going to do it in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus man man oh man it's so nice when people are kind to us right but that's fleeting the never-ending perfect pure kindness of God towards us in Christ Jesus. That's just his plan for the ages to come for us in the body of Christ. <laughs> Man, dude, that gets me smiling. That's so awesome. I just, I love that. For by grace, ye are saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Salvation is by faith, is by grace through faith. Everything rewards is in grace. Uh, fellowship is in grace sanctification all of this is in grace and it's all it's not a it is not a thing that we do outside of christ it's all christ himself he is our wisdom he is our sanctification he is our life he is our reward he is our exceedingly great reward he is our inheritance and it's all given to us in justification secured for us in justification which is by faith and faith alone so there's nothing to boast of nothing at all you can't boast in how holy you are because christ is holiness so you're a deflated image of it. You're not actually holy. I'm talking to like the people who want to boast in themselves and their holiness, right? Um, you're not a law keeper, people. You're a law breaker. You do not put God in your debt to earn rewards. No. Christ is our reward. He is the, he is the vine. We are the branch. I do not go up to an apple tree and punch it repeatedly and say, you better get to work and give me an apple. No, it's just going to produce an orange out of its branch as the branch sits there and eats and drinks and the principle of life does its thing. We do not remove ourselves from that tree and say, I've got this now. I'm going to produce fruit. And your fruit is going to look a whole lot different than the, than the fruit of Christ, the fruit of the spirit, because it's going to be you trying to put God in your debt. It's going to be you in the flesh. It's going to be you striving in your own efforts. It's going to be an imperfect idea and usually a corrupt idea of what someone thinks a good work is because their intention is I'm going to get a reward. I'm going to earn fellowship. God's going to be pleased with me because of my works. So it's all dead works. Looking to Christ in faith, what we are doing right now, brothers and sisters, mm, 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 mm. he's he is pleased with faith, brothers and sisters. He is pleased with faith. He enjoys us coming forward to him in boldness. We do not shrink back in fear. Grieving God in unbelief, thinking there's something between us and God, thinking there's something more that we need to do, thinking we need to clean ourselves up, perfect ourselves in the flesh, or clean the outside of the cup. No, drop it all. Again, Christ is the head. The law is not the shoulders and we're the knees. No, we are his body. He is our head. We come straight to Christ himself by faith. Hallelujah. For by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. And we're not here looking at ourselves and our performance and judging according to sight what those works are going to look like. So many people think preaching Christ and him crucified and building up the body on Christ, in Christ, with precious uh, gold, silver, and precious stones, right? Christ himself, preaching him. People think that's not a good work. People think that's lazy and you just, well, you just want to get your ticket to heaven. Yet they'll go out and beat the children of God and call them lazy and abuse them and call them names and slander them and say, you're not doing enough. God's, God's displeased with you. They will use scripture, invert it, and beat people with it and they think they're going to get rewarded for those quote-unquote good works because they think that's a good work just shows you how perverted and corrupt the flesh is and how it can very much get in the way of just eating and drinking of christ as the branch 
and allowing the vine, allowing the life to flow and do its thing as he ministers himself to us in faith. In the faith. Hallelujah. (sighs) Wherefore, remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. We didn't have hope. We did not have God. We were alienated. We were without Christ. But now, brothers and sisters, but now. So anytime anyone says you don't have Christ after after believing the gospel, you don't have Christ. You don't have this. You don't have that. You can say, psh, 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 get out of here. You, you fly. You go swim around your dung pile of poop and your dead works. That's what you want to eat. I'm going to say, but now in Christ Jesus, us, brothers and sisters, who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Jesus Christ. That is for salvation and for the present tense enjoyment of our salvation, for the purging of our conscience. It is, the blood always has power because it was offered up through the eternal spirit without spot. Christ offered himself up through the eternal spirit outside of time. Anytime someone says, blah, 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 this and that, you're separated from God. You don't have this. You need more. You're not going to get rewarded. You're lazy. Go away again. Go back to eating your pile of poop and your own dead works that you keep shoveling into your pile more and more and saying, nom, 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 look at this. I'm so much better than you. While we can laugh at them and say, you have no idea what you're actually eating and what you're trying to present to God. How about, um, I'm going to go over here with my brothers and sisters who want to be built up in the faith and we're going to preach Christ and we're going to present ourselves as holy and unblameable in Christ to the Father, which is our living sacrifice, right? Which is our reasonable service is to come forward in faith saying, yes, God, you are true. You are not like man who is a liar. You are true. I am complete in Christ. I was far off, but now I am nigh by the blood of Jesus Christ. He is our peace who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. Do you see how we're emphasizing him in God, in Christ, what we have in him, what he has done? And how edifying it is to look at him and boast in him and praise the Lord and say yes and amen to what Christ has done and who we are in Christ and everything he is to us. So much better than looking at ourselves, trying to say, what am I lacking? What am I missing? What more do I need to do? And I must measure it by what I see and what I feel. Well, that's all against scripture. That's all against what the word says. So anyone who says any of that, which has been many of us in the past when we were all stuck in religion or when we were mixed up in Galatian error, whatever it was, We went through that and the Lord used that to try our senses, to bring us into a deeper understanding and give us discernment so that we could approve that which is excellent. And we could avoid and go away from things that were not food, that were not Christ himself, so that we could be on the purity of the word, of the truth of God's word, of the gospel, of the milk, then being moved on to the meat of Christ, not the milk going, trying to go forward, then coming back to the milk, being swayed about with every wind of doctrine, thinking there's something we lack. No, we say, um, no to all of that, anything that is not Christ. And we say yes and amen. And we come forward by faith in him. But now in Christ, we are, we who were sometimes far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. He is our peace. Hallelujah. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. Christ is the new man. We put on Christ. We do not make ourselves like him. We put him on by faith. He is our clothing. He is our righteousness. He is our peace. He is our breastplate, our belt of truth, our, our shoes of peace, our, the sword of the truth, the shield of righteousness, the armor of faith, and the helmet of salvation. He is our armor. We put on Christ himself. We're going to get persecuted for it. <laughs> and we're going to boast in Christ. And hallelujah, he is our reward. And we're going to taste our inheritance, hallelujah, by standing in justification, hallelujah. <sighs> And that he might reconcile both unto God in one by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. Pretty sure he's talking about Jews and Gentiles here. Uh, And came and preached peace to you which were afar off and to them that were nigh. Hallelujah. That the promise 
the gift of eternal life is available to all who come forward by faith in Jesus Christ. There is no difference. The, the level at the foot of the cross, the ground at the foot of the cross is level. I always get that mixed up. The ground at the foot of the cross is level. No one's higher, no one's lower. We are all sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God. But Jesus Christ died for all of our sins, was buried, and arose again on the third day so that we might be born again, alive unto God, have eternal life. Children of God, hallelujah. So that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And guess what, brothers and sisters? How do we have access to the Father? Verse 18, for through him, through him, Jesus Christ, through him, we both have access by one spirit. Not one has access through the spirit and one has access through the law, but in reality, they all want to have access through the law so they can come up themselves rather than by Christ because they are thieves and robbers coming up some other way other than the heavenly ladder, Jesus Christ. For through him, Jesus Christ, we both have access. We all have access by one spirit unto the father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners. Don't let someone tell you that you're a stranger to God and he doesn't know you and he's going to cast you out because you are standing by faith alone in the finished redemptive work of Jesus Christ. And they're trying to condemn you and say, you're not justified. You're not saved because you don't have the works to prove it. Blah, blah, blah. All this stuff. You're not going to get rewarded. I'm going to, I'm going to cast stones at you because I think I'm holier than you. No. We are no more strangers and foreigners. We are fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. We will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. And we are, what are we built upon, brothers and sisters? Are we built upon the shadow of things to come, the law? Are we built upon laws and commandments? No, we are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. We are built upon Jesus Christ. We are built up in him in the full assurance of faith as we come forward by faith. Hallelujah. Faith, faith, faith. All by grace, all by faith. Thank you, Jesus. God, he's so good. God is so good. In whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye are also, in whom also ye are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. We are a habitation of God through the Spirit. We are built up in Christ. We come forth by faith. We enjoy Him, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Thank God for His Word. Thank God for oh, thank God for the building up of, the, of His body that he is the head, we are his body. There is no other way to come forward to God other than the finished redemptive work, faith in him, faith in Jesus Christ and what he has done. And there's no other better way because there's no baggage, there's no burden, there's no strangling yoke that you better get this done. No, his yoke is easy, his burden is light. He says, come, come eat and drink. I have prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Yes, they're going to lie. Yes, they're going to slander. Yes, they're going to yell and they're going to try and beat you and call it, a, call it a service to God. But they know nothing of the meat and drink that we have been given from God, from Christ himself, that is satisfying beyond anything we can ever imagine. Drink of eternal life so that we never thirst. Eating of the bread of life, Christ, so that we never hunger again. It's all Christ himself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, man. Thank you, Lord, also that you made such a beautiful creation. And I'm so excited for myself and for my brothers and sisters. I'm so excited for, <laughs> for the rapture, obviously, to see him face to face, to be made like and to be given glorified bodies and for the creation to be... <sighs> <laughs> reset basically <laughs> for Jesus Christ to rule and reign for a thousand years and then for us to step into another another age in which he's going to show us his exceedingly exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus there's just it's going to be beauty beyond beyond sight it's going to be beauty beyond smell or taste or sound or hearing it's going to be beauty and, um, and, and, and joy and peace and love and satisfaction and fulfillment and just oh, everything awesome. It's going to be all of it beyond what our senses can, can even fathom. 
It's going to be so good. And it is so good right here, right now in Christ. This is the weakest that we're ever going to be, brothers and sisters. So there is a sort of beauty in that struggle in which we cling to Christ, in which Christ is wrought into us through our trials and temptations and the, and the persecution from the religious and from the world itself. There is a, a beauty in that as we cling to Christ and as he ministers himself to that. So I, I just pray that you guys are encouraged and that you are enjoying Christ. Um, and that, again, that's not a demand. Um, that's just, we, we come forward by faith that he draws us. He gives us himself as drink. He gives us himself as meat. He feeds us with himself at his perfect timing. So don't, don't turn that into a burden. It's all good at his timing for everything. We just say yes and amen. We live by faith. The just shall live by faith. We walk by faith. We are saved by grace through faith. The spirit that is ministered to us, ministered and worketh miracles among us is by faith and not by the works of the law. Hallelujah. Christ ministers himself to his body by faith in the spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. All right, I pray you all are blessed. Um, this is great. I very much enjoyed this. Uh, and I'll post a pic of where I'm at. Y'all see, it looks kind of wild. Anyways, peace out, yo. God bless.